Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, I got some really good proof here that actually hydrogen appears to have beneficial effects for all sorts of different diseases. So before I get started, I'm going to tell you guys I am not going to be giving you any medical advice during this video. And what we're going to be looking at is actual scientific studies done on hydrogen. Not to be confused with, you know, any other type of gas, I don't know, oxygen or whatnot. This is just hydrogen studies. And let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I got here. So it says right here, 63 disease models and human diseases for which beneficial effects of hydrogen have been documented. So what we're going to see here is you see the, the diseases. So you see this is going to be all the list and then the species on which the test was done, like a human in this case, and then also animals like rodents, and then administration, how exactly they were doing it. So first things first, first you see this section for brain. This is all for the brain and what you're going to see here right now is things like dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, even brain trauma or brain injury of some sort. I think this is really important. I think there's a lot of people out there uh, suffering from such issues. And I don't think they know that there's actually an option. Definitely share this information, um, maybe even this video, as you'll see that you know my videos are really hard to find these days. They seem to be highly suppressed. But I, there's a lot of good information here. And whenever you see any of these numbers, you can literally click on them. And it'll literally take you to the actual study and you can read about it. Um, if you scroll down a little more, you're going to see one for spinal cord injuries. This was pretty in interesting to me because I think that a lot of people who you know, have spinal cord injuries would never think of something like hydrogen could potentially help. Now, the next one is for the eyes. This one for me personally is very interesting because I actually knew somebody specifically uh, who had glaucoma. And now what I found out was actually... As he used hydrogen, that's when I realized the importance of actually using the proper equipment. Uh, a lot of people ask me about these like cheap little bottles and just, just different things out there. I don't want to say anything real negative about anything out there. I'm just saying that I noticed that results were different based on the type of equipment that you would use and even the application of it. So even right now, like for example, I'm, I'm doing some inhalation actually right now. And I think the definitely the combination of inhalation with the water. I wouldn't just go with one or the other. And I found that the results seem to be better. Uh, the next one's for hearing loss. That was actually very interesting to me, though. I've never known somebody personally uh, with hearing loss for it to improve with hydrogen. Uh, the lung one. I think for lungs, this is a really big topic, in, in my opinion, right now. Mostly because if people get a virus or get the flu and all the different lung issues that could happen, a lot of these were from lung injury. You're going to see a pattern here in regards to, in regards to transplantation for transplants. Um, I do think the hydrogen is going to be used a lot more in the future in regards to transplants. And so I think this is going to be something very interesting to look for in the future. I also think it might be something important for people who have problems with proper saturation levels of oxygen in their blood um, as hydrogen appears to affect the pH of the blood. So I think this is all very, very uh, interesting right here. Let's move on to the next one. And you'll see even just drinking water. Just drinking water seems to improve the lung health. I think that's really fascinating. Uh, but also the gas inhalation, I think, is important. You know, the heart, I was actually kind of surprised how small this section is because this is something that's already been approved in Japan uh, in their actual hospitals, how they use it for the heart issues. Here you're going to see, again, the transplant again, the hydrogen uh, being used for something like that. And I just think incredible and and even for me personally i had a heart condition um when i first started getting on hydrogen i had results on certain things but my heart condition didn't go away and that wasn't until again i got the proper equipment and started doing a combination and, and created a protocol uh with inhalation and the water in a specific way and you know in fact guys i now have a discount code too so if you guys want a discount code i'll try to put one down below for the same equipment that i use and i like and it's the best that i found so far through my research um, let's move on to the next one because there is a really big issue in my opinion in regards to safety and hydrogen and i do i've been doing a lot of research on it and nobody seems to be talking about it but i'm sure you guys have seen that in my other videos and if not check those out let's move on to the next section the liver so the liver another very important one i mean you don't have to have a disease i mean like hepatitis or some type of liver inflammation or even liver tumors you don't have to have issues to want to use something like hydrogen because our liver has to go through a lot every single day with all the stuff that's in our environment and all the pollutants and whatnot so i think it's a really good idea just just as a preventative and to stay healthy I think that it would actually be something very, very important. Uh, kidneys. This is a big topic. Um, I've actually known a lot of people who've had kidney issues. Here you see the transplant again, uh, transplantation. 
as it seems to be again a common topic and something that I've been seeing a lot with hydrogen uh, for quite some time now. But for the kidneys, you know, chronic kidney disease, I think uh, for the kidneys, obviously hydrogen some, appears to be something incredible. You can see gas inhalation, you can see the water. Again, I think I like the combination as I've seen better results from something like that. And so, yeah, it's really good to keep, you know, your kidneys in good health. Uh, the next one, pancreas, intestines. I would say with the intestines, I've also seen a lot of interesting things. It's absolutely amazing for the gut. And again, here you see the transplant, again, the transplantation. But I've seen uh, ulcerative colitis. I've seen a lot of incredible things in regards to the gut and hydrogen. And I think that's going to be another big topic. And even just to keep an immune system strong again during times when you want to have a strong immune system. Blood vessels, muscles, cartilage. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of amazing things in regards to all those things. But this is another big topic for me because what I've seen personally uh, hydrogen do for things like this metabolism type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and I've seen incredible things actually just blow doctors minds they just literally can't believe it um, yeah metabolic syndrome uh, diabetes and obesity that's another big topic in my opinion and look just by drinking water guys and look even some human studies here so very very fascinating uh, keep going down Let's see oh, this is another big topic infl inflammation or allergies I've seen a lot of benefit in regards to inflammation and allergies. I've known people personally who their allergies have gone away, uh, and it's pretty remarkable. Uh, so that one really fascinated me because some of the people that I knew had them just for so long, and it was just brutal, and uh, they got amazing results. Here you see, again, the water. I mean, you can do the gas inhalation, but yeah, the water. Um, cancer, obviously, we've heard a lot about that. Um, growth of tongue carcinoma cells, uh, lung cancer cells and then uh, a type of lymphoma. Uh, the last one I would say, these are just others and a lot of you know random things right here, high glucose induced oxidative stress. This is another big one in my opinion too because you guys have to understand that if you get high glucose levels in your blood, it puts you at higher risk for an infection from a virus, from a bacteria of some sort. And I think it's really good to control blood glucose levels just like with issues like with diabetes. And one thing I've seen with hydrogen, it just seems to be amazing at doing this type of stuff. Um, that's why I always drink it, you know, before meals and whatnot. So I think, again, very, very interesting information, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely share, guys. Again, a lot of people don't know about hydrogen. Doctors, <laughs> most of them do not know about hydrogen. Um, I've talked to many of them, and they just, at first they brush it off, and then look, look at all this proof. Look at all this data. It's very, very important, guys, to get the word out and share this with people. People really need to know about stuff like this. And also, don't forget to, you know, give the video a thumbs up, you know, support the channel and whatnot. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button, as a lot of people say they're not getting notifications when I put out the videos. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.